hello guys today we will be discussing about uh, the demo of manual automation testing provided by 2020 consulting with azure talent hub so we will be discussing about the the whole program that we are offering for the people who are from non it background and uh, people from any background can be able to do this course so this course includes the whole set of art manual automation testing so we will be going through the introduction and i will show you some demo of how we teach so you can feel the way that we teach and what we actually teach in this course okay let's start okay so as a part of this course so this is the course overview that we actually teach this course contains manual testing and automation testing and we also provide volunteership program for people to gain experience and we also support in placement and job support so let's start so uh, the first phase of this course will be manual testing second phase will be automation testing let's see how it goes now in the software manual testing these are the concepts that we cover as a part of the course we cover the fundamental concepts or concepts of manual testing which makes your brain to think like a manual tester and you need to understand how what a tester does and how he, he look like and what he does so this include test we also discuss about test case and test plan which is the core components of software testing we also teach the methodologies that we follow as a part of software software development like soft stlcs like waterfall v model agile kanban bdd and tdd so we also discuss different types of testing like starting from unit testing system functional uat integration and fun uh, non functional like performance tests etc however because now lot of companies following the latest methodologies like agile we teach what is agile and the roles and responsibilities of each and every individual when you're working in agile and the process of kanban and we actually teach the details of agile and we also teach how that different from other models and how you can perform your day to day activities in agile methodology after that we actually teach what will be an important part of an agile testing which makes the people everybody in the team to talk about a single source of truth and that single source of truth will be the gherkin scenarios your acceptance criteria will be written in gherkin and your automation test will be consuming this gherkin scenarios to transform that into a java or other languages and that 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 code will be used as an automation scripts so the way from acceptance criteria till the automation tests this is all single source of truth and this is what which help uh, everybody to actually talk a single language that is gherkin so we we discuss that and we also discuss about how the bdd process works because bdd is behavior driven so once your company is in a very very mature state then they they, follow, they can follow the process like bdd and tdd so bdd is where the testers will be mostly working for and we discuss about that however the outcome of the whole testing process is raising the bug so we discuss how we can raise the bug and how we can report to developers and this whole goes through showing some real time experience which i'll show you today 
we also have an, a small bit of mobile testing which which actually a lot of companies are having some mobile apps like react ios and and android so we we discuss about how we can test that and the whole course is being kind of aligned to is tqb examination and that is to be examination is a, is always a good thing to do as a part of software testing to show that you got a certification that you are right to do software testing for any company let's go into the detail so the next thing that that i'll be teaching talking today is about the tools so we you can't you can't be effective if you are, if you are not using tools you can be manual writing a lot of scripts on Excel sheets and then that go somewhere. So we actually discuss about few tools. The most interesting we'll be discussing about a tool called test rail. So this is a test rail which is a test management tool for software testing. Here you can see that this is the test cases that my students are writing to test various applications. So let us go to one of the project. This is called Medbase. So we're going to that. So you can see that this specific project have a lot of test cases. So, so this tool is what we will teach you. We will teach you how you can add test cases, how you can run the test cases, and how we can report the bugs. So it got a lot of advanced lot lot of features that we can show you where you can write the test you can write the test steps and you got a lot of options to play around so this tool is is helpful for you to understand how to write your test cases how to run the test cases and how you can measure the progress of any testing process okay so you can see that a lot of projects that you can manage okay the next thing that we will do today is a tool called Jira so if you go to the the next tool that we discuss will be Jira so we'll show you how Jira and how we use the Jira so Jira is a task management tool and uh, this Jira is integrated with test rail so you can see that whatever so we will give an option for you to work in Jira so this is what our students are right, currently doing so you can see that there is a lot of task management test management and there are a lot of work which is being done one by one so you can see that there is a process that we use to kind of write the test cases so we can use Jira board to any number of different different things so we can use this and we also have some other projects that we actually show you okay okay so you can see that some of our students actually working on a lot of tasks can see that they are doing one round of software testing on the project so we can see that they are this is a project which actually includes a lot of functionality so this is you can see that there are a lot of feature files here and this there's a lot of tasks here so you can see that some of our students are working very actively on these features and we also give an option to work with different different projects like mobile app development projects and mobile app testing projects example see that there's something called push notification so we actually have the tasks to create a lot of work so you can see that we will be showing how to raise a bug and how to how we can add this is an acceptance criteria so we can see that how the information is being sent from developers to testers and how the process works so this way we actually teach the people to use Jira tool effectively and then we actually show how the process works from starting to ending so this gives an 
real-time experience of how the tasks are being managed and how the Jira process is followed in the real time. Apart from that, interestingly, we also got to show something about Confluence, which is a, a repository management tool where we, we put all the documentation of any pro, any company. So you can see that right now we got we got a lot of documents here. Okay, you can have a look into our documents and we can see how it works and we actually show you how the process documentation works and how different levels of information is shared. Okay. So we show you this. We show you the, the confluence. Okay, and we show you how you can create the documents in the confluence and how it works. All right, and we can have multiple project spaces and we can have multiple people in the team and you actually can collaborate each other on the documentation side. So confluence is used for putting all the documentation at one place. And finally, very interesting thing which I need to show you is um, in a typical software testing process, once we got the test cases written like this in this detail, so after a couple of test runs, then we think about automating them. So how do we automate them is, if we got a, a, a straight away test cases like this, where we, we have test cases, test scripts written in a normal English language, we can convert them in Gherkin. So Gherkin is an advanced tool which actually um, makes your um, way of you write the tests in a very different way. So for an example, if I take this example, so we will show you how we can See that the syntax is working. That's it. So now this is what we will we will actually help you to write this in a proper format. See if you write this, you will get this. So the so the the, the fundamental way of writing Gherkin is, is being taught in the course and we also will teach how you can convert your whole tests into a simple Java program. Right now you can easily convert your Gherkin into program and we, we also will show you how we can add examples um, as well. So we can add examples, we can add like two rows for an example I do this then insert table then you can see that we just table okay so we can insert data also using examples. This is how we show how we can write your code or your Gherkin scenarios and that scenarios will be very much useful. So that way manually we will show how to use those tools. And coming to for today demo, let me show you some, as I said, I, I, can, I, I had show, shown you that how we can, in the, in the demo we had shown you how you had converted your test cases into Gherkin format. Okay, so this is the demo that I had shown you. So basically we actually, we take the whole test cases from the test rail and we copy paste it. So before that we will make sure that we select only few test cases for the creation pack, not all, and convert them everything into Cucumber feature file or Gherkin language and which will be a perfect input for our automation testing. Finally, whatever we do here, it is based on the live projects. Right now, I'll show you that we are actually running few live projects on our application. You can see that we got a front end, an application which have some front end, 
and this application is completely deployed for us and our testers will use it vigorously and they create their own test data here so this is a, we got multiple live projects and this is one of the project why i can say that live project is we own this so we actually have an option to go as an admin perform a lot of tasks yeah okay so we can log into the portal and we can we will show you how you can use this application we also have a documentation for for this application so So we have the documentation for this whole application. So this will be our basis for you to write any test cases. For example, we got this. You can see the how we can test any functionality and how the manufacturers will be displayed and how filters will be working. So this example take this filter criteria. This is our functionality, and you can go and test this in your application. And if you want to do any backend changes. This is a backend application where here you can actually create your own test data. Right now you can see that there is some test data that we created ourselves. So this whole data will be reflected here and that way like a real time you actually will have an option to create your own test data. We also have the test database access so if you want interested we will give an access to database where you can perform some bad database testing as well. So this is the way we actually help the people to view the documentation and write some test cases in the test rail and then execute the test cases here in test rail and if they found any bugs they can raise from the test rail on to Jira and um, if they want to set up any test data they can use this admin portal or they can use database. That way you actually give them access to multiple projects and especially if they're testing anything further like integration testing then we provide the dummy cards. So we, we got some test cards with us we use the card now card numbers that's what anybody does in a real time. So we use the test card so if you want to purchase anything and you want to perform some testing example in this case if you want to test the payment gateway so this is where you are normally stuck so we will help you to example you want to test the credit card integration so we provide some test data here okay Oops. okay Okay, so we can test all these test cases here and you can see that the card is accepted. So there are some, some test, test data that we can put it from behind the screens which will help you. Okay, that's it about manual testing. And now if you go to the next slide, which is um, IS2 to be certification. So one of the important factors is once you people had strong experience on your manual testing and agile, then uh, obviously we would recommend you to write the ISTQB exam, which is, and we also help you to book your ISTQB examination and ISTQB examination that we actually talked today. Okay. Uh, and I'll go through the course content so this software testing um, we actually help you to write the ISTQB foundation level exam and uh, we got the syllabus here so this is what we cover so we are actually help we can help you to write ISTQB exam and whatever the course content that we actually provide here it almost covers most part of the ISTQB exam so after our course you will be able to confidently Go and write your ISTQB exam 
and we also help you to prepare the exam and we help you to book your slot for ISTQB and hopefully if you perform well this is an online exam you need to write and if you perform well we should be in a good shape okay that's about manual and we will conduct automation very soon so i will be discussing about the automation testing course that we are providing here so automation testing course includes this important aspects of our automation testing in the latest technology latest world so automation testing is very important for you to have a career in software testing because it helps you to get this lot of effort and time and the companies are looking forward for more automation testers rather than manual testers so now coming to this we will cover the basic of java programming here because you need to have one programming hand in hand because especially selenium and cypress kind of a tools we definitely need a hands-on on programming so we teach you software testing with java programming we also teach you what is software test automation testing what is basics of automation testing and we go into depth into selenium and we actually teach about locators and the apis and the paths and how the selenium works what is selenium standalone what is selenium grid and what is ide and all the details of that however you also need to learn java stack which is jnet and maven for you to create a successful framework and we also teach you cucumber jvm which is the fundamental point where you can convert your manual test cases into an automation testing without any converting your code into directly java so we can use the same gherkin scenarios that we discussed previously into cucumber jvm and then we can convert them into java steps however we also need to put some assertions and weights for our completion of our code but that is just a basic but here especially what is very important from our point of view is our automation framework so we actually teach you how how you can develop an automation framework from scratch and um, after developing you need to run them through virtual machines like browser stack and uh, we also need to run something on selenium cloud which is maybe on aws however once you run the cloud we need to continuously run them through a cloud on the cloud which is you need to run on jenkins and which will run on browser stack and get the results and now because of the technologies are changing we also need to discuss a little bit about docker containerization and how you can run the selenium using docker okay so let's go in detail so what are the tools that we're discussing in today is we will be discussing very important tools like intellij maven JUnit, Cucumber, Jenkins, Selenium, Browser Stack. These are the very, very important tools for you to have a 100% knowledge on Selenium. So we teach different, different tools and uh, these are the fundamental. I'll show you the everything in, in a demo in a moment. So these are the important tools that we cover all over the course. So let's go into the demo now. So we will show you a framework which was developed from scratch and which is completely integrated with AWS. See, this is what we will teach you as a part of the course. This is a framework which is done in Maven and this framework have multiple folder structure. So we'll teach you how you can develop the same thing from scratch. Example, you can see that we got feature files as big as this. And we also have complex feature files that we will help you to understand like, like this where you can put your data tables and the, exam and the examples. So when we writing the feature files is one of the important factor of, of automation testing and we teach you that it most deeply. So you'll understand how you can convert a complex multiple scenarios into one scenario so that you can reduce the time and effort and reusability of the code. And this will be backed up by writing a page object. So you can see that everything is written beautifully in the page objects. This page objects is nothing but which comes from 
your page object repository so we have multiple page objects that are beautifully written by all students to 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 handle any kind of scenarios so we got they got very good way of writing they use some hard coding values and they use dynamic values they use arrays you can see that we got arrays and we use collections we use all advanced technologies to make the automation tests as good as possible you can see that we use encapsulations and we use um, page factory so we use page factory in our code so like that we have a lot of advanced features that we will teach them and finally I mean I don't want to go in depth in the coding so we they also write beautiful utilities to help them to reduce their tasks um, and finally we also have browser factory uh, the which is which is what I want to show you today so you can see that now here is where I can integrate my whole stuff into browser stack so in the browser stack I can run my test or I can spin up my own AWS UR. If your company is saying that we don't want to run our tests in the cloud or some third parties, then we're happy to run the whole thing into AWS and then you can spin up your own environment. So that I will show you or otherwise you can run, the, you can see that tests running in AWS. Okay. So for now, if I want to just run this tests in uh, browser stack so I go here and say if I run this test and hopefully this this run will this whole test will run in not run in locally but will run in browser stack okay so because I had given the browser stack if I open my browser stack login Hopefully my runs, my test will be running there. Just to make sure that my tests are running properly. Yes, you can see that my test is currently my test is running here. Okay, so this is how we can now my tests here are literally running here so this is the live testing where the test is happening while you're running from your local machine so we teach you all these things by yourself so it's not like me that you people will be able to do this task you can see the video is running the tests are running I don't need to go in depth, but this is how it works. Okay, so I'll just continue that and then coming to my and we also will show you how we can run in Jenkins. Uh, right now we also will help you to set up your own Jenkins environment. It takes some time. So that way we can help you to run this test in Jenkins as well. Okay, this is how we actually make you to teach how you can develop your own framework and integrate on the cloud. Finally, we also support other other aspects as well. We actually will give an opportunity to work in our internal applications. I, I got few other companies which I work closely and they have always have a lot of work on our test automation. So I will test automation, manual testing and mobile testing. So I will help you to keep place in that companies and you can work like voluntarily, not for paid, but voluntarily for a couple of months to get your own experience. That experience is the real experience where you will be actually testing without any guidance by yourself and we will take your daily stand-ups and help you to get you better like that we actually you people will be working for our internal applications as a voluntary program and you'll be working with a development team so you will be a tester for a couple of months the only thing is you will get experience there and that experience you can actually use when you're going to interviews Finally, as a part of the normal support program, we actually help you to get your CV and your interviews, how you talk in interviews, how to talk in interviews and how you can even apply for the jobs either through us or from external sources. So we help you to get your CV sorted and we help you to how to talk in interviews and we also help you how you can apply and where you can go, whom to send the CVs and how to tackle the interviews. Okay. 
that way it's a complete program and we make sure that you've got good interviews in your place and you've got very good job at the end of this course so we have a complete support program for starting from zero to you place in a job so thank you very much and we are always here to help you and you can always contact me at Sri Ramangajala and this is my UK number um, I'm from UK okay you can contact me at any time thank you very much bye bye